Ursula has arrived. Hi, I'm Frank Antonides, Director of Project Management with Walt Disney Imagineering. We're here in the Little Mermaid attraction where it's a very exciting day for us. The Ursula figure has arrived and has been situated in her lair here in the attraction. While we have a lot of work to do in order to get her ready to show our guests, we want to share a little bit of the magic with you back at our production facility in North Hollywood. Ursula is one of the biggest animated characters we've ever done. She's huge. It's gonna knock your socks off. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me well a witch. My name is Larry Nikolai. I'm the show designer and the creative director for the Little Mermaid attraction. We're at our animation facility and we are going through our preliminary programming where we finally see her moving and acting like Ursula. She's huge, she's 12 feet wide, she's seven and a half feet tall. She just sort of fills this whole scene with this cauldron in front of her. Poor unfortunate souls, so sad, so true. Hi, my name is Tom Mathias. I'm principal figure finishing artisan. I'm responsible for the figure finishing of all the figures in the mermaid attraction. So that covers the paint and the costume and the hair on all of the figures. When we first started producing the Ursula figure, we researched by watching the film at least 20, 30 times and taking still grabs of it so that we could tell what she looked like in fine detail. And then we have to start finding materials that are gonna let us represent that in a real world, but work the way we need to. So like her body, we ended up choosing a stretch velvet so that she had a very luxurious look, but still very smooth, but able to move with her well. The rest of her skin is actually a flexible rubber that allows her to make facial expressions and move her arms and face and everything else. My name is Ethan Reed. I'm a senior show animator at Walt Disney Imagineering on the Little Mermaid attraction. This character is going to be one of the most amazing audiomatronics I've ever animated. My favorite function on Ursula is her body squash and stretch. When we were watching the film early on, we noticed how much squash and stretch they got in the torso when they were animating her. So I really pushed hard to get that function put in her torso. And you know, we have the typical torso functions that you have on an audiomatronic figure, but she can bounce to the music. When she hits a high note, we can stretch her torso up. It's a lot of fun. The plastics department and the mechanical department here at Walt Disney Imagineering has really pulled an amazing feat here with her skin. She can stretch her elbow all the way straight and she can bring it all the way back in and the skin keeps its shape. She has little lip sneers and she has eyebrow functions and she has analog eyelids so she can squint her eyes and we can really get some fun play in her eye area because you know, that's where guests are going to look first. It's remarkable. We just want people to be entertained. That's right. We just want you to be entertained. And Ursula is pretty amazing, but you're gonna have to come see her for yourself when The Little Mermaid Ariel's Undersea Adventure opens on June 3rd.